Hey, what's going on guys? Jay from Jay's Trains here and welcome to today's video. So featured for this video today is uh, this brand new MTH GP9. Uh, well, technically not brand new. Um, this came out a couple years ago, like a year or two ago. But uh, for this video today, I wanted to do something kind of interesting. Um, because when I originally first got this and I was thinking of doing a video for it, I kind of thought about making this, uh, just running this engine around with uh, some passenger cars since uh, these Redbirds here, um, that was their main job um, pretty much once the uh, Jays were retired from passenger service, once the NW started getting these. So, um, but these were used on uh, local freights and such from time to time. Um, so since this model here has pro freight announcements in it rather than passengers, uh, announcements, you know, I kind of came up with the idea of kind of an interesting story to uh, incorporate in this video as to what's going on. So the story I came up with basically is a uh, Chesapeake and Ohio mine run from Kentucky that uh, has to be um, basically um, run around on the Norfolk and Western to connect back up to the uh, Chesapeake and Ohio main because uh, for whatever reason, and I'll leave this up to you guys' imagination, whether it be a derailment or track work, the uh, CNO traffic heading east out of Huntington, um, you know, something is obstructing it. So the Chesapeake in Ohio has to divert this train over NW trackage. So the NW dispatches an A-class locomotive because luckily the CNO and NW connect in Canova, West Virginia. So out of Portsmouth, Ohio, an A-class locomotive takes over power um, in Canova once it arrives. And the A then runs the train east to Williamson, West Virginia. So that's part of the reason why I have the uh, station platforms here set up to kind of simulate the passenger platforms that uh, once existed in Williamson. So in the beginning of this video, which is where uh, it'll start off, the A-class locomotive will be exchanged for the GP9 here in Williamson. And the GP9 will then run the train east out of Williamson along the NW main line and over the branch line leading up to Gilbert, West Virginia. Now, Gilbert, West Virginia is actually a town that's kind of tucked um, into a West Virginia holler, kind of north of the NW Main um, between Bluefield and Williamson. And uh, in real life, uh, Gilbert was actually an exchange between the Chesapeake and Ohio, the Norfolk and Western, as well as the Virginian Railway. And uh, Gilbert isn't really a big yard. Um, it's only about five or six tracks wide, um, kind of at the eastern portion of the yard. But uh, in real life, the NW came into the yard from the southwest. The Chesapeake and Ohio came down from the north through the town of Gil uh, Gilbert, crossing the Guyandot River and merging with the NW Main going into the west end of the yard. And then coming from the east was the Virginian Railway via the Guyandot River branch of theirs. So for this video, uh, once the GP9 runs the train over NW trackage and up to Gilbert, it swaps out power in Gilbert with Chesapeake and Ohio power, where the CNO then takes the train back up to the Chesapeake and Ohio uh, main line up north through the hollers from Gilbert. So I kind of figured, you know, with this uh, little story here, you know, it kind of add a good amount of uh, power, um, you know, variety to this video. You know, you'd have the NW, the Chesapeake and Ohio, and the Virginian. So I kind of thought that would add some interest to the video. So. I really hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. If you like it, please leave a like, comment down below and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Um, now, before this portion, when I first got this locomotive, I actually did a uh, kind of a brief unboxing video of this engine. Um, it's about two or three minutes long. So I'll include that right after this segment in between this and the running uh, part of the video. But uh, hopefully, you know, you guys will like the uh, little story behind this. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, you know, leave a uh, comment down below and let me know and uh, I'll try and see what I can come up with. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into some running trains. But first, let's get into the locomotive unboxing. All right, so I have not seen many videos of this particular engine um, on YouTube or any of the O-Gage forums or anything like that. So should be pretty interesting to dig into this. I've only seen one unboxing video of this um, on YouTube. I believe it was from uh, Ken Holbert's Trains. And uh, only a brief video from uh, MTH's product announcement things um, that they do on their YouTube channel and Facebook and stuff um, of a brief running of this locomotive. But I went ahead and got the 521 Pro Sounds 3.0, the Norfolk and Western GP9. So. Let's go ahead and check this out. 
I'm not even sure if this locomotive has uh, freight announcements or passenger announcements in it, so we're gonna find out. So right away you have the owner's manual. This probably upside down. All right, so right away you do have some cow catchers or snow plows. Uh, extra traction tires, and some smoke. Get the silk packs out of there. Okay. That's coming out nice and easy. All right. in a while I've actually got an MTH engine so I'm looking forward to seeing this oh yeah that looks nice five twenty one this is actually the version that uh, is still currently at the uh, Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke so I've seen this engine a few times there when I've visited so that was a big reason why I decided to get this number right here let's get that out of there It's interesting, I've never seen, usually this is one piece, but multiple pieces were put in there to give that a little bit of extra cushioning. Let's get this out of there. All right. I gotta say, that is a very nice look to the engine. Also, you have the cab figures facing long hood forward, because that's how the NW ran their locomotives especially the diesels, long hood forward. So in other words, what normally would be the back is actually the front on this locomotive. Very nice.
Copy that, Tara. Awaiting instructions. Over. Check that oil level.
dispatcher. Ready to roll. Can I pull? Over. You're good to go. Dispatcher out. Woo! <laughs> 